please try this at home because we are finding the truth and it's the truth that sets people free. We're just ordinary people just like you, but we are the myth crashers. We are destroying the myths that are leading teenagers and adults and people astray. The Word of God is our authority. I've had this one for a long time. Matter of fact, my dad got this for me when I graduated from high school, and I left it on top of my car by accident when I was getting in church, getting ready for church one day, and I took off and it flew off the top of my car and it messed up. Oh, never mind. Uh, we're just ordinary people, like I said, crashing myths because it's the truth that sets people free, and the Word of God is our authority and our guide. The Bible says that we will know the truth, and the truth will make us free. And the Bible says that the Word of God will be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And so every week, we're going to be pulling back the layers of deceit that have people uh, uh, deceived, and we're going to be taking away the layers of the deceit that the Father of Lies is using to hinder people from enjoying the truth. So I want to introduce you for a moment to uh, a couple of our helpers today. And uh, we'll start with Luke. Hi, I'm Luke. I am 16. I am a musician at my church. And I am a myth crasher. We have who helping us today as a researcher? Dalton. Dalton Alvis from the big city of Buffalo, right. New York. We have some camera guys that are also helping us today, and we appreciate their help. And I am Pastor Grimes. I am old, and I am the pastor of Flagship Free Will Baptist Church. And I am a myth crasher. Okay, guys, this is the myth that we're debunking today. Uh, you see these pictures? I mean, every time you see a picture of the devil, he's like this dude in this red pajama suit, carrying around a pitchfork. He's got this. See, this is what he looks like in every picture you see. Yeah, but Dad, there is no proof that he looks like. I think it's just a myth. I mean, if I were the devil, sometimes look. Like I was saying before he interrupted me, if I were the devil, I wouldn't want people to know I was really him. I mean, I would try right. and make people think I was kind and, and nice, and what I had to offer Something was... Something good? Exactly. Well, you make a good point. I mean, but where are we going to go to learn about the devil? Uh, the Bible, of course, until it will tell us everything you need to know. Okay, guys, well, let's get busy. Okay, boys, what have you found so far? <clears throat> I found something very, very interesting. Did you know that the book of Revelation refers to the devil as a dragon and a serpent? So listen to this verse. It says, And he sees the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. Don't dragons have horns? I mean, well, when you see drawings of dragons, they usually have horns. But serpents don't have horns. I mean, he's called well, a dragon. And a serpent. Well, that's the thing. How can he both be a dragon and a serpent? Well, maybe 2 Corinthians will give us some light on this. I found something interesting there. Paul said that, uh, let's see, here it is, that the devil can transform himself into an angel of light. So, obviously, he can disguise himself. So, he has the power to make himself look different? See, I told you, he, he wouldn't want people knowing who he was. But listen to what I found. Another verse. It's in Ezekiel. It says that he was covered in precious stones. And it also said that he became prideful because he of how beautiful he was. That's right, Luke. He, he was created as an angel. And he was a very beautiful angel. And he swelled up with pride. And because of this beauty, he rebelled against God and was kicked out of heaven. And ever since then, his number one goal has, to, has been to destroy uh, God's prized possession, mankind. That, that has been his goal. He, he, he hates us because we were created in the image of God. So, Dad, do you think this uh, myth is busted? I mean, if he is referred to as an angel, a serpent, a dragon, and a shining light, couldn't he transform himself to someone with red skin and horns? Well, I suppose he could, 
But I don't really know why he would. I mean, he's not a cartoon character running around with a pitchfork. And he's a ruthless villain, like I said, who, who is bent on your destruction, and on your destruction, and on your destruction. I mean, that is his goal. And he's trying to get people uh, to throw away their life, to, to get people to live forever in misery. And he tries to get people not to know the truth because he knows the truth will set people free. And so uh, I think this myth is busted. I have no doubt that this myth is busted because if he was just a, a, a dude in a red pajama suit, people aren't going to take him seriously. And I think that's one of the reasons that people don't take him seriously. They just think he's some cartoon character and they don't realize that he is real and he's really trying to get people to suffer and mess their lives up and be separated from God forever. So that's why we started Myth Crashers because we want to crash and destroy his myths because he is the father of lies and he is destroying people's lives. He is ruining homes. He's messing up teenagers. He's leaving them scarred for the rest of their lives because he deceives them into thinking that what he promises them will bring satisfaction and joy and happiness to his life and to their lives when in reality all it's going to do is mess them up forever. So this myth is busted, and we're going to keep busting his myths every single week right here on Myth Crashers. Thank you guys for your research. You worked hard. I appreciate it very much. God bless you. Have a great day.